Look at that. We got our limit. Time to go we got home. our limit. Oh man, let's go fishing. Whoop, whoop. See, Brittany was patient. She chummed and chummed and chummed. Way to go, Britt. Brittany, you were like, hey, you need to throw the net over here. Yeah. <laughs> and and right? he threw 10 times, and <laughs> that's what we got the you first 10. I don't know. He knew it right. Oh, I gotta, you got to listen to the real captain. We got bait. That's what you call blacking out the live well. Let's go fishing. I saw you catch was 32 inches. That's a big red snapper. Yeah, I know. And we had to let it go. I know, that was the sad part. <laughs> there he is. Spot. Nice one, Dave. Sweet. Oh, Three. Lots of sargasm weed out here today. I think I'm gonna rig up a flat line, brother. Red snapper. Yeah, I think he'll make it to Nine. the pool. <laughs> Good job, right, buddy. Baby. Oh yeah, he's probably 24 anyway. Perfect. And that's what we came out here for. Wow, yes, sir. they are beautiful, man. Yes. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Flat line to go off. Nice group. Nice. I think they'll keep. Oh, yeah, they'll keep. Reel up, Dave, as fast as you can. All right, that's the flat line, guys. We were just reeling it in. Don't be a cuda. No, there's a lot of line out. Be a mahi. He'd already jumped know, if it was right? a mahi. Big tuna or something. Swimming at you, brother. Good stuff right here, guys. This is what I love. You don't know. What do you got here, man? Yeah. You getting it? It's probably pelagic. Hey, I'm gonna have to move up that side. 
think there's something big and heavy. What does it feel like? You getting any head shakes or? I think there's something big and heavy. Big and heavy? I hope it's not a little shark. For real. And no bumps or nothing, huh? I, had, I felt some tail shakes. There was a head shake. I don't know, dude. Any He's color? pumping a little bit. Yeah. Come on, be something good. Could be a tuna. Could be. Color. Hey, oh, he's awful shiny. Please be a tuna. I think it is, guys. Be a tuna. Um, he, that's a black fin, brother. Okay, hang on. Let me, uh... Yep, definitely a black fin. Hang on, hang on. 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that him pinwheel? Yeah, that is a nice black that's fin, dude. Big black. Oh, great job, brother. Here he comes. Head first to me, man. Get him in the kill. Don't I will, I will. Boom. Perfect. That is the damn eye. Oh my gosh. We did it again, bro. That's Woo! two trips in a row, man. <laughs> what do you think, baby? Woo! Look at the colors, man. Look at that blue line. That is so good. Yes. <laughs> I got goosebumps. That is so oh, cool. Man. Straight in the cooler. That is so good. That's why we put a flat line out. Oh yeah. I did. We were That's talking. Awesome. We were just saying That's it looks way too good out here to yes. not have some pelagics. Good job. Boston, so. so we can bleed him right in here, yeah. right? Yeah. Great job, man. All right, guys, we're doubled up. What'd you have, Dave? Little guy. Little guy. So we're moving, we're driving around until we mark anything on the bottom. We're not seeing any fish up off the bottom, which is fine, but we're seeing a little bit of something, something that usually indicates life. And he's got him a good one over there. That's a lot of times the red snapper will be up off the bottom. That color right here. Oh yeah, nice grouper. Good job, Kevin. Sweet. Look at this, guys. Look at that. He's puked up a shovel nose lobster. Hey, that's out of season. Get off the boat. Oh, yeah. Isn't that wild? Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Have you seen one of those? No. Oh, my ago. gosh. Juvenile. Hey. That's wild. That's a good one right there, guys. Real. You go, girl. <laughs> Live action. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna be close into 30 club right there, girl. Oh my gosh. What's your what's your best one ever? Cause you just beat it. Look what's in there. Big old crab type no, thing. Like a some kind of lobster thing. A slipper. Oh, one oh. of those, uh, oh, I can't think of the name of the crab, guys. Same. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. That's an old fish right there. You done good. No way, we found them. All right, now you gotta explain to everybody how you found that, because we were cruising. Well, we were playing that, going about 20, 25, we just saw a little flip on the thing. That's him. There he, is. there he is. They don't let us recreational guys catch him very often. There's one. There's one. I got one too, brother. Look at her. Come on, baby. Uh, I put actually three white baits on. Never cut them or I didn't do anything. Oh, yeah. Grouper of the day. Big grouper. Well, grouper of the day. She's got that. Yeah. Good How many one. more we need? Oh, that's a good one. one more now. Dang it, one more. Yeah, baby. I'll take Not it. Bad. Yours makes this look tiny, girlfriend. <laughs> that thing's nice, though. I'm happy right. with that. Cool. Kevin's tight. 
Ooh. There might be a red snapper, brother. It is a snapper. Oh, yeah. Hey, I found it. You got dinner, man. Yes. Oh, yeah, baby. Way to go, Cap. Getting us on the spot. You got yourself a new red snapper spot. Good job, man. So you should tell everyone the story. Oh, of us? Yes. We, had, we hadn't even met yet. You were getting back from almost killing yourself from being out here. Oh, yeah, that's uh, right. It was weekends, but it was super rough. You got back in, and me and my wife were at the dock. I'm like, look at that guy over there coming back with poles. It's like... It's too rough. He couldn't have been out there red snapper fishing. I was. <laughs> a couple weeks later, you put a video, and I was like, that's that guy from the boat ramp. That was him. I was like, see, we could have oh, been yeah, out there. I was with you that night. That's funny. And then... No. Later, uh, they opened up another couple days for Red Snapper, and we shot out, went out to numbers that I had found, and 42 miles, we had a subscriber with us. I'll never forget. I pull up, and he, yeah, and he's on that same spot. How do you have the... I was out fishing with my dad. Dave was with us. Yep. And then we're both, all of us are like, look at this guy. He's kind of, and I hear, yeah. as I was like, man, I wonder if that's that YouTube guy. <laughs> you hear me say. And then I hear... 42 miles out, somebody's on our spot. And I was like, wait, I'm like, hey! And, they, and then everyone probably thought we were cussing them or something because yeah. they were so close. They, you guys, they kind of just waved and kept on driving. It was we, like, we ended like, up catching like, some that day. That was a good day. But yeah, I couldn't believe it. Jamie's like, why are you getting so close to them? I'm like, are they really on, at 42 miles out? What are the odds that they're on that? And it's a small spot. But yeah, yeah, that's funny. Now you got a new spot. Right. Yeah, baby. Nice. So what's that? Four, Four in the box. Six more of them. And Six one more, more and one more group. You get bigger? Yeah, we got bigger. Woo. ARS. He's a keeper. Looks like we got a catch, clean, and cook. We're going to head back in, so... We're gonna see at the play table. I'm not sure what I'm taking home, but it's gonna be something. I'm thinking red snapper. Okay. We're back at home. I've got this beautiful red snapper that I'm gonna fillet. I also have the bottom loin to one side of that blackfin tuna, so. Can I have the knife? All right, you want to fillet it? This, you're just throwing a, like a worm in my gears here. That's okay, I don't know what that means. Well, I wasn't planning on you just coming in here and photo bombing this thing like you always do. Know. I'll get that started for you. And you can just kind of run it down the same line. Now the rib cage starts right there, okay? Mm -hmm. Please be careful. Uh, Brittany and A.A. Ron and their three beautiful little girls are coming down to have dinner with us. And Aaron was like, I know you make ceviche. You can make that. So we're going to do ceviche with the tuna and the American Red Snapper. I know we've done it before a couple times, but hey, like I said before, don't fix it if it ain't broke. So let's do long strokes. So you start down here as far as you can. Yep, follow them bones. Go for it. There you go. Long strokes, there you go. See, now you're at the rib cage there. So let's just kind of pull this up. Does it help standing on your tippy toes? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. It's all right, hold on. Let me get this started on this for a second. My hand is numb right here just boop, out that side and then straight down the tail to the tail you want me to get over the ribs these are kind of tricky yeah. nice little piece of meat there's the bloodline not a whole lot past that point i don't know why i like ben bubble well this i just found this knife this came from michigan we just went and got all our stuff from michigan guys there's not a whole lot on the other side of that anyway all right, kiddo, you want to skin that one? Mm -hmm. There you go. I'll get a good firm grip and you pull the skin and push the blade at the same time. 
There you go. There you go. Slide it back and forth, nice and easy. So, there you go, perfect. There you go. That actually was pretty good. That is good. Okay, well you get the gist of it. I'm gonna knock this other filet out and uh, then we'll get it cut up for the ceviche. Get this stuff cooking before everybody gets here. Half inch, three quarter inch pieces. All I'm doing is just kind of making strips here. And then we'll cube it. Cube. This knife is not the sharpest. The thicker the piece is, the longer you want it to soak in the uh, lime juice. We'll get the tuna, and we're gonna do the same thing with that. Ellie, just slice them in half um, this way. Okay. Like that. You wanna put enough lime juice in here to pretty much cover the whole thing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I love eating limes. You go for it, kiddo. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah, especially because my hands are small. Yeah, they won't be for long. So you can use any kind of onion. I'm going for color today. I'm just gonna cut some of this stuff up and throw this right in with the fish and then I'm gonna cover it and stick it in the refrigerator and uh, let this stuff get to cooking. Yummy. Yummy is right. Stir it up a little bit here. So here's some of the stuff. I'm gonna cup a little more of that onion, some cucumber, and then avocado, cilantro. We're gonna use juice and orange so we don't have to put any sugar in it, but sugar's an option too. Um, and then I wanna do some peaches. Add another little element. We're gonna go uh, grab some tomatoes and jalapenos off of our plants. So honey. Uh, that one's ready. Try to break it right here. See that little hinge? You just hold it like that and then you, you lift it like that. Mm. Okay, drop that one in there. One? Yep, that one. These little cherry tomatoes are good. So cool. I'm gonna jalapeno turning red here. Looks like they need some water. Grab those and just break them right up. Yep, they have a little hinge. Now oh, that'll work too, but you want to break that off so that the plant see where it bends. You grab it right there and you tilt it like that. And then that way the plant knows, okay, we can put out some more flowers. All right. There's our jalapenos. I'm gonna set those aside. I'll make some with and some without. This gives it a nice crunch. You got kitties? Yeah, you get kitties to keep the mice away, huh? Yeah, they're on our porch. Speaking of kitties, look what the cat dragged in. Hi, baby. Say hi. Kenton was so excited to see you. Oh, I'm so excited to see you guys. I get to see mom and dad all the time. Yeah. And look, yeah. she was a little excited that you guys are coming too. <laughs> oh, you brought me something to drink. Yeah, Thanks, problem. man. Yeah. Is, how come it's still warm? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Uh... <laughs> no, not that kind. <laughs> <laughs> I can't use all of those. <laughs> What do you have on? You look like you're 26 look at years her. old. Look at her. <gasps> oh my goodness. I don't even have makeup on. Good. Yet. Hey, yes. yes. That's you the way to. Have you keyword yet? <laughs> okay. Oh, you haven't got to her yet. Oh, okay. You're lucky. I just said to Jamie, we need one of those. And she was like, ah, no. So hurry up, Stephen and uh, Kayla. Rephrase what I said. We have five of those. Oh, yeah. We are all set in that department. I just want a new one. <laughs> All right, so but we're you gonna. Want, you want a new one that you can give back every now and then. That that's it. That's the yeah. key, right you there. You know, my parents were fifty when they became grandparents. Fifty? Yeah. And how old are you, Steve? We're we have kept that a <laughs> secret <laughs> long enough. So instead of sugar, guys, we're just gonna use a little bit of uh, orange juice here. What do you call that thing? I call it a colander, but no, you didn't. That's what I called it because that's what it is. A cauldron? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
still figuring out the English language, right? Well, no, I, I'm <laughs> gradually losing the English oh, language. There you go. <laughs> All right, so throw a little of these in here. They are pretty strong. Mine got red. Homegrown. Homegrown. Pepperoni. You're a doll. Do a little bit of olive oil. That's optional. I like it in there. Hey. There's no pepperonis. We got, we got tomatoes. Sea salt. Black pepper. I know Jamie likes your black pepper, so I'm gonna put a lot on here. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi. What is this? What is that? Give it all. Give that. <laughs> Uh, I miss I miss my binky. All right, guys. Well, here we go. Well, you just tried the jalapeno. It's pretty good. Is Daddy, it? Daddy, not too bad. Daddy, Daddy. No. All right. So, oh, by the way, my mom just called me, and uh, it's my brother's birthday tomorrow. <coughs> Happy uh, my, birthday! Yeah, my miracle brother Brian. Wouldn't even like he's in what terminal. They said he wouldn't make it out of his twenties. And uh, I don't want to embarrass you, but I'm going to anyway. He's going to be 60. So praise God for that, huh? Miracle. Thank you, Mom, for the call. Yeah, yeah. Steve's, but, Steve's memory called. <laughs> my mom said, you're kind of a miracle, too, because if you didn't kill yourself, I was going to kill you. Yeah, that's very true. So anyways, guys, I'm going to say a quick prayer, if you don't mind. Our Father in Heaven, thank you for this day, and thank you for all of our blessings, and we thank you for uh, Brian's birthday, dear Lord, and how awesome that is. And, and uh, we just wanted to thank you for our friends and the opportunity to get out on the water and enjoy your bounty, dear Lord. We ask forgiveness of our sins. In your Son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So I got these scoopers, but then I was like, you know, I think I need more than a scoop. Make my taco with... There we go. Wow, that's great, Steve. Mmm. Go ahead, Mom. Mmm. So which way do you like the tuna better? You've had the tuna raw, you've had it seared, now you've had a ceviche. Which way do you like it best? Cook. <laughs> cook? Okay, well it's cooked. It's cooked in a different way. Because like you said, it's very refreshing. It is refreshing. You guys want to say goodbye to everybody? Bye. 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 Well, thanks for taking me fishing again. Guess what? It's snapper season, so we're going to do make snapper videos. Yep, that's what you're getting, guys. And who knows, maybe the occasional black fin. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We love you, and don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. We are out.